Du, 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 du. Hey, hi folks. It is Saturday, 4th of March. I'm here. As you can see, I'm um, in the middle of uh, handling. These ones are done here. I'm using a yogurt kind of container. After I put the handle on, I just drop that in, press it down lightly, just to make sure that it, it stays it stays round. Okay. Now some of these here, I'm just sort of getting them dried off. Some I've turned upside down, as we do. You want to dry them evenly, so remember to turn them upside down so the base is dry. Okay. All right, I'm just going to do a couple here, show you what I'm doing. So, uh, okay, I'll put the camera about like that. Okie dokie. So, what I'm doing with some of these is, I'm going to show you one that I've done. That is one we have, I have I've just, just done. Um, so it's got a little bit of a detail here around the foot and um, what we're going to do is put on a handle and and do that pattern okay so right so probably the best way of doing this now I've got several Make yourself, make yourself some of these uh, roller stamps. You've seen me talk about them before. So what we want to do is, before we put the handle on, okay, you're going to thumb off the, the base here, which I've already done. Make sure that you put a bevel here on the on the bottom of the mug when you throw it using your throwing stick when it's on the wheel okay now you want to just thumb that off no turning no trimming okay put it upside down on the banding wheel I'm going to take this guy and the way that I do this now let's just put the camera actually let me put it like that. So basically, so remember that the bottom part of the, the mug here is softer here, just at this point. Plus you want to use this um, close to the close to the corner here because it's it's stronger you see it won't it won't cave in so I'm holding that like that okay and now I'm just going to simply rotate the mug on the banding wheel holding the roller stamp in the same position and bring it all the way around there it is okay you see that all right so now now that is ready for a handle. So put a handle on. I'm going to dip dip the finger in the water pot. Just scratch it at the top here. All right, with a wetted finger, like that. That's all you need to do. Where it's going to join below here, also scratch. If you're going to scratch one, you might as well scratch two. For most of my potting life, I never bothered to scratch at the bottom here. But then I, late, I later thought, well, I've got my hand and everything's ready here. I might as well scratch down here as well. It's, it's not going to hurt, is it? Probably going to probably gonna help it, if anything. So down here on the wearboard, i just incline the camera down there a bit. I've got some handles. I pulled these already they're sort of they're dry now dry enough so push and lift off all right now with with the using my knuckle 
you want to hit the end of the you want to tap it you see with with your knuckle it sort of spreads spreads the end of the it gives it a little bit of extra meat here if you see what I mean so that you can um, attach so here we go I'm going to attach it there apply the handle to that keyed area okay give it a firm a firm push but don't push too hard you notice I've got two fingers on the other side here so I am supporting it on the other side while I'm pushing okay and the top side here I'm going to use my thumb across the top like that you see just to smooth and blend in the handle and remember keep it supported okay don't let the handle droop okay now I'm going to take it to the vertical and um, are we in the picture? Yeah. Okay. Dip it in the water pot. Like that. And wet, wetting my hand at the same time. Now I'm just going to pull it off the side of the of the mug like that. Respect this vertical. Always the ha handle hanging vertically, and the mug horizontal. Okay. When you do this important. You can dip it into the water pot like that. And now, like that, and now holding it, now bringing it back to the vertical like that. And just pushing the bottom handle there to make the lower attachment. Smooth it across the top here with my thumb and an underneath as well. Alright. Okay, try not to deform the mug. Okay, so so far it's looking like that. Right, now here what I'm going to do is, with a dry finger, wipe it over like that, just applying a bit of pressure and kind of blending it. And now this bit I'm going to take away. Okay. And now just carefully... Yeah, I'm doing a different kind of attachment these days and as opposed to the, the old traditional fishtail, which I've been doing for years. Uh, I'm doing these. They're a little bit more fiddly in a way, but um, I think it gives a better result in some ways. I still like the fishtail mine. Dee, 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 dee. Okay, so there's that. Put that on the uh, banding wheel at the moment. do another. So putting this down onto the wear board, take the yogurt container, just push it lightly in. Okay. These are generally tapered, very slightly tapered. So they will now let's pick another mug that is suitably dry. Some of these are in different stages of, okay, so here we're just going to, with my thumb, we're going to thumb off like that, okay, I'm on the banding wheel, and we'll use a different, we'll use a different pattern. Dee, dee, dee. All right. Okay. So we're going to hold this to the, the base of the pot here and now rotate 
the, the pot and the banding wheel together. So, okay. Just a wetted finger there, like that, okay. And down here. Okay. Take for ourselves a handle. Using my knuckle here, just prepare the end of the handle like that and now apply the, the handle to the keyed area with two fingers behind the area where you are applying a bit of pressure so you don't deform you don't deform the top of the mug now with my thumb across the top of the handle just blending that in okay now to the vertical into the water pot You want to just keep it, your hand and the, and the handle wet. Now you might ask, well, why, why you, what, you've already pulled it once. Why are you pulling it again, Simon? Well, with the, with, in the process of manhandling the handle and getting it attached to, to the, the mug, you know, the, the handle doesn't look as fresh as it did. So it's good to attach it and then just give it a few pulls just to re-pull it. Just to give it a nice sort of fresh look. Alright. Make sure the top join here is good. Alright. Scrutinise your handles from this angle. You don't want the handle sticking out way too far. Okay. So just you want to just judge that right. Okay, here again. So where it's shiny like that, we see the light reflecting off the water there. So dry your finger on your apron and wipe it across like that, okay? And now you'll be able to, to smear it to make the join. Okay, now applying a bit of pressure here and just just trying to be careful not to smudge the below here the um, the pattern I've just put on, you know. Okay. All right. Now you may need to give your handle a little lift by with the finger just pushing up, just to get the shape as you want it. All right. There it is. Right. So put that on the wearboard here. And move this along to there like that. Okay. Now, it's just going to just going to move the camera a minute. I just got to get a, a uh, stamp because what I'm going to do is I've got one of these squigglies. Oh, what? Yes, a squiggly. Excuse me a minute. I'm walking in front of you. So this is piece of just a piece of clay that I've kind of rolled up um, onto itself. A flat piece of clay which I've rolled rolled up into like a little snail looking. Affair. Looks like a snail. So what we're going to do is where see see what's happened here. This has gone. It's got a knot. It's got a little dent in the side of the handle, I see. Stuff happens, doesn't it, to pots? And you think, how on earth did that happen? <laughs> okay, so now this one you notice doesn't have that on the bottom, the pattern. Because these are going to be glazed all over, whereas the other ones are going to be 
glaze differently, so it's just a different style. Okay, so here where I applied, where you saw me finish off the, the bottom of the handle, I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to take it and push it into there like that, you see? Just to give, it's just a little detail. Okay, we'll put him back over there. In, in fact, all of these I, I'm going to have to, but I don't, I don't, I don't do this, use this guy right after I pull the handle because the, the clay is still rather too soft and it can clog in the seal. So what I do is just let it stiffen up a little bit. Yeah, just a little detail. You see, it's, the, it's in the finishing off of pots. One thing is throwing the pot in the first place. There's a lots of different operations that we have to familiar, familiarize ourselves with along the way, along the process of to finish the pot off so it's, it's done. Yeah, you need to, that sort of just comes comes with practice as everything else. Yeah, the dreaded word practice. <laughs> Well, that's how you build muscle memory, isn't it? Practice. That's really the point of practicing, is to develop and build muscle memory. I may just have to... Surprisingly, they can go out of round quite easily. And you just want to keep on top of them with the rounder, you know, because you can't round them when they get too dry. So you've got to make sure that the very last time you pick them up and touch them, you round them. It's just one of those things. Now that's a bit softer, that one. These are a little softer. These are the last, the last two that I've done. And that's it. That's them all done so far of the, of the ones I've done. So there it is, folks. Hey, thanks for joining us. That is just uh, finishing off a couple of mugs for you using these roller stamps and just talking through a little bit of the process, all right? So go to my website, simonleachpottery.com. Uh, if you see a pot there or a tool you need, you might. We are going to be taking orders for more leech treadle wheels, but they're not going to be kit wheels. They will only be finished wheels. Finished like that one over there that is waiting to be picked up completely finished, no work to do. All right, so we are going to be taking orders on those. That means I won't have to do all this shipping, you know, and um, boxing and crating them up, which is a pain. <laughs> all right, I've just got a few more to do here, as you can see. So, uh, what can I say? Keep practicing! <laughs> Absolute more, mon ami. Yes, absolutely, my friend. Okay, till the next video. Bye bye. Dee, 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 dee.